Hey Larry, I'm Jake with Camping World here in Boise. We're standing in front of the Winnebago Sightseer 33C. As you can see, it's full body paint. Um, one of the things that really sells Winnebago is the nice big front windshield here. They, uh, with their steel cab, it allows, uh, allows them to uh, use a non-hardening uh, urethane so that that window isn't, isn't mounted into uh, a little rubber mold, kind of like what uh, my Ace over here is. You see the front windshield there is in a little rubber gasket. A lot of manufacturers have had issues with those when you, uh, when you go in and uh, to a gas station or something and the coach flexes, it'll pop that window right out. So Winnebago mounts them just like uh, the automotive industry does where they mount it right to the steel cab. So uh, underneath here is, under the hood here is where you'll check all your fluids. Uh, everything is really easy to do. That's one of the nice things about Winnebago is they build everything in house. So it's, uh, it's all right here. You check your oil, transmission fluid, uh, windshield fluid, everything. Change your, uh, your uh, air filter, everything right here. It's really easy. Really nice, and Winnebago does a really nice job with that. Your windshield wiper uh, are all mounted into steel as well, so the motors aren't mounted into a fiberglass that's going to, you know, when they're running hard, they're not going to break off. As we come around here, it's got the Ford V10, as well as uh, they put the side cameras now up here in the mirror, so it gives you a little better angle uh, down the side of the coach. One other thing that, that they changed as well is, uh, this used to only be in the Adventure, is that your slide-out compartments here uh, are actually with the slide-out, so you don't have to get underneath the slide uh, on, the dry, on the passenger side here to be able to um, get to your compartments here. This has a nice uh, outdoor entertainment center. I'll show you that. It's locked right now, but on the, on the, uh, when we do the inside video, I'll come back out and show you that as well. Got a little, a little more storage there with one 10 plug, as well as a nice big storage compartment here as well. One of the things that really sells Winnebago is they build everything in-house. Uh, every door has a serial number for it, so if this door is ever damaged, we just take that serial number, we call Winnebago, and they'll actually build and, and uh, paint this door just back to the exact same way uh, as this one is. The cool thing about that is they can go all the way back to the 1987 Braves uh, for all their parts. So that's, that's pretty cool. They started to use now the Schwintec system here. As you can see, it's a, a worm gear here. They have one on the bottom as well as one up on top. So that, uh, they're at the factory, they square those up and then you never have any issues of that slide out coming out of, uh, out of adjustment. It will always come in and out nice and straight, and you'll really enjoy that. It also has slide-out awnings as well, so you don't have to worry about snow or debris or anything like that uh, up on top of your slide-outs. You never have to get up there. Uh, you're probably pretty familiar with Winnebago, but they use a fiberglass roof system, so there's no rubber, uh, uh, rubber membrane or skin or anything up there to get scraped up or torn and then uh, create water leaks. So it's a really nice uh, thing that Winnebago does. 5,000 pound hitch on the back with a seven way plug. So if you're pulling a car or an extra trailer, uh, it's already uh, wired and everything right there as well as the backup camera. Everything that Winnebago uses is all automotive style. So all your turn signals, all your backup lights, all those are come from the automotive industry. This is where your generator is. Unfortunately, my uh, guys that park and parked it right next to this, fire, this uh, water hydrant here, but uh, 5500 Onan generator. That'll run two air conditioners or washer and dryer. This is your water center here. So uh, this is where you'll be able to fill your freshwater tank as well as winterize the coach. Winnebago makes it very easy. You can winterize everything from right here. It's got 50 amp shore power, so it'll run two air conditioners. Has the Santa flush. Um, as well as it has a uh, pressurized water fill so no longer do you have to use a gravity fill you can just uh, turn that to tank fill hook the hose on there and it'll fill about twice as fast as what the old gravity style tank fills did this coach just barely got here so it hasn't been washed yet but 
you that one cool thing is over here where on this side where the slide out is up they make all their doors here what they call barn style doors so no longer do they flip up here where you could accidentally run the slide in in and catch your door everything opens up barn style here this is your dump station uh, your black water tank gray water tanks will all drain right here underneath the coach Winnebago does something different than anybody else they use metal everywhere um, there's, this isn't a uh, corrugated plastic or you know a, a wrap or anything like that. It's all metal, as well as your wheel wells uh, are all metal or steel inside as well. So you never have to worry about debris or anything like that poking a hole up in there. Another big storage compartment here. You can see they use automotive style uh, rubber gaskets. So you don't ever, have to, never have to worry about uh, water getting inside there. Again, this one here is a nice big uh, storage compartment as well, where you also have uh, a little bit of storage. It's a lip up there. If you want to put something longer, you can put it in that storage compartment. And then your propane tank is located right here, as well as the hydraulic uh, pump and oil for uh, your landing gear and leveling system. So, Larry, this is the outside of the site, so here, let's go inside.